<laughs> Boogaloo sound like a weird. <laughs> Boogaloo sound like a weird. Low key sound like a weird sex thing that like your homegirl <laughs> tries to normalize. You ever have a homegirl speak to you about some real kinky sex shit because <laughs> she's trying to normalize it? She's like. <laughs> So your boyfriend, he also spits in your eyes and uh, tickles your feet, right? <laughs> and as an ally, you'd be like, yeah, me too. You know, like you just agree because um, you're trying to support the homie. Anyway, so what I wanted to talk to you about, first of all, hello, hello my, my name, name is Villa. I'm, I'm not, not white, white. Okay? okay? I, I know, know in certain like lights I may look. I feel like in this current economy, I need to set the record straight. Let me get started. <laughs> Joe Schumacher died, okay? Mira, Shu Joe, Joe Schumacher died. And if y'all don't know who that is, he directed The Lost Boys, okay? okay. Hello. And yeah, yeah. he put nipples on the bat suit. Son. <laughs> <laughs> so, this fabulous maniac died, okay? <laughs> and um, <laughs> before he died, he told Variety that he slept with 20,000 dudes. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. God damn, God damn. Wait a minute. So, I'm telling my friends, you know, because this is how I start a conversation. They were like, how you doing? I'm like, yo, Joe Schumacher slept with 20,000 people. <laughs> you know, like this. Is what, what I, talk I talk about, about in conversation. conversation. Small, Small talk, talk, even. The, the post, post office, office. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> but, so, I'm telling my homegirl, and she goes, that's bullshit. You can't sleep with 20,000 people. And I was like, hold up. So, he lived to 80. Let's throw him out at 20, because I don't ever want to think about teens having sex. <laughs> ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so we, we start, start him at 20, but let's shave off 10 years because you're not fucking till 80. You know, like the last 10 years, you're taking a break, right? <laughs> so we giving him 50. <laughs> we giving Joe Schumacher 50 years of fucking. Okay, so if you take 20,000 cats and you, you <laughs> divide, I almost said fucking, you fuck now, and you divide that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Divide that shit by 50 years. That's 400 dudes a year. Yo, you could do that. What? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yo. <laughs> so now I said that. I said that to my homegirl. I held up my cell phone and everything because I broke out that calculator. You know, I'm not fucking around. And she, she thinks I'm a hoe now. You know, like, I was just like, 400 people? Come on. <laughs> give, me one, give me one summer. One coke-filled summer. And I got you. <laughs> oh we oh doing it all over. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, my name is Zilla. I'm Puerto Rican. And I got to say that because we're going to go. We're going to have a class war soon. <laughs> So, like, I need to let y'all know what side of the fence I'm on. Um, and uh, also, being Puerto Rican is like the opposite of being in the fight club. You feel me? Like, you know how the first rule of fight club is we never talk about fight club? <laughs> the first rule of being Puerto Rican is we never miss an opportunity to tell everybody we Puerto Rican. Like, you know, like, I will... I will staple a flag to my forehead. Fuck with me, you know? Um, but... <laughs> um, uh, the second rule of being Puerto Rican is we never allowed to talk about the quality of J-Lo's singing voice. <laughs> if, people bring, if people bring it up, I got two options. One, the right to remain silent. Two... <laughs> Two, I'd just be like, yo, did you know Hamilton was written by a Puerto Rican? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's my Lin-Manuel Miranda rights. <laughs> um, but yo, I be, yo, when I meet dudes, dudes be acting.
looking real sloppy. Like you tell a dude you Puerto Rican, <laughs> like a white dude, and he start using these like real specific words. He'd be like, oh, Zilla, you so hot. Oh, Zilla, you so fiery. Oh, Zilla, you so spicy. It's like, dude, if you use another Cheeto adjective <laughs> to describe me, <laughs> like fuck around, call me puffy. We brawling. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm not having any of that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but what's weird to me is they be like, yo, call me Poppy. And I'm like, that's disgusting. That's my father's name. <laughs> like, what are you, a monster? Um, <laughs> yo, but one thing, white dudes love to flex how much Spanish they know. It's hilarious. And <laughs> so, like, a white dude step to me and be like, oh, you Puerto Rican. And then he'll say some shit in Spanish. And I don't know fucking Spanish. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but they be like, oh, despacito, whatever shit they want to say, they be saying it. And let me tell you, I know Spanish a little bit, but it's like a fucked up Spanish because I learned Spanish from watching telenovelas, which if you don't know, <laughs> is Spanish soap operas. Okay. So like the other day I had to bust out the Spanish and I was like, te lo juro. <laughs> Con Dios en el cielo <laughs> te mato. <laughs> That's the last time I talked to a Latino for Trump. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those pieces of shit. Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna end it on this. <laughs> uh, yo, my mom, yo, this is hilarious, so I'm gonna tell you. But uh, my father, he worked for 20 years making sandwiches in a bodega, and my mother is a housekeeper. So if we had a family crest, it would be a dustpan full of bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> 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 but yo it's weird yo my mom's a housekeeper and it like alters your life well first of all my mother's a housekeeper right now during covid in orlando which is like i don't even that's just a hot mess and she's an essential worker so she got to go to work and i worry about, about it all, all the time, time. and my, my mother I know she's working, so it trips me out when I see these famous people. They try to act like they alone in their house. These rich people, they got housekeepers. They got babysitters. But on Instagram, they're like, we're here. <laughs> the kids are driving us crazy. You know, but they're not watching the kids. <laughs> they're not watching the kids. You ever see one of these famous people get interviewed and they pick the most sparse, part of their house. They know there's gonna be a class war. They're not trying to show you they found it. <laughs> they're gonna put exposed brick, right? And like like John Krasinski. John Krasinski look like he live in a Ross motherfucker. Stop playing, I know you got money, you know? <laughs> so that's why if I interview John Krasinski, here's what I would do. I'd be like, oh, that's fantastic, John. Also, John, can you show me your broom? <laughs> because no famous people know where the broom is. Look, let me show you. Something. I got my broom right here. <laughs> my house is that small, first of all, also because I clean the bitch, you know? So I would love to just see John Krasinski being like, Olga. <laughs> oh, can you get the broom? You know, fuck that motherfucker. Anyway, uh, I love you. Y'all are fantastic. Give it up for Gabe and Samir. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>